compelling website with amazing visual impact. Hi, I'm Patricia Bean. I've been photographing for the building trades, shooting interiors and products for the home and other commercial endeavors for over 20 years. I especially enjoy working with creative people such as designers. And as a commercial photographer, there are two ways to approach a photography assignment. One is to document, and that is to replicate and record what a building or product looks like. The other is to create an image with mood and excitement so a product or service is easily sold. My business is Visual Impact Consulting, and I have a third way. I help many businesses with my unique process by creating an irresistible invitation with carefully chosen visual images that keep the brand alive, vibrant, and aligned with the core values and key attributes of the company. Many builders and designers have been passed up for a job because of their website, and this happens whether you know it or not. More than 2.4 billion people use the internet every day, and 90% of those make a purchase. So wouldn't it be nice to have a website that actually compels your perfect client to choose you in a crowd of similar services? Let's explore some ideas together. This presentation will change the way you think about your website and how you use photography. The average consumer is being exposed to up to 10,000 brand messages every day. Your website has to say what you do and show your work. But now your website has to have superpowers to go beyond framing of facts and stats. A website needs to attract attention, stand out in a crowded marketplace, be memorable and bookmarkable. That's a tall order for an attention to deficit audience that's barraged by thousands of marketing messages every day. Enthralling, captivating, absorbing, irresistible, convincing, persuasive, powerful, and strong. That's amazing. How would that feel to have a website that met even half of those descriptive words? A compelling website provides a way to present your design service to compel a specific, a specific segment of potential clients to take action. Notice I said a specific segment of potential clients because we do no service to ourselves by trying to market to the masses. We're not for everyone and everyone is not for us. This last part is important and we'll talk about how to make that distinguishing factor part of your website. First impressions are important and the impact you make when someone first visits your website is the only chance you have to make a first impression. And very often that impression is a lasting impression. People are making snap judgments in a matter of seconds. They've decided whether to stay or leave your site. And the first impression sets the stage for further exploration and people can tell how professional you are or if you're a hobbyist or a dependable business. The use of professional images say right away, you think enough of your business to invest in it. But everyone who's serious about their business already knows and does this. We're talking about compelling. All eyes are drawn to photographic images. They're the first thing anyone sees on a page. Even great headlines can't compete with images. So you, as a designer, have an advantage over many other industries, and that is you have a plethora of opportunity for images that are directly related to your business. Other industries have to find stock images. But how are you using these images? Are they all in a slideshow? There is some question in today's marketing world if a slider of images, especially on the home page, is effective, or if it's more of a distraction, keeping people from ever reading your copy. You're not here to entertain. Based on the best advice from marketing experts about this attention deficit phenomenon is don't show more than three images on a home page revolving slider and never for more than three or four seconds each. Seriously, because you're in a visually rich industry, a slider of images makes sense. Just don't overdo it. They keep people from exploring the rest of your website. If you want to use very short quotes over the slide, keep the slide long enough to read and look at the image, but not for more than six seconds. One or two lines for what you want to be known for. Example, live your best life or comfort is what we love to create. Use images that illustrate these quotes. Avoid titles that are factual like residential, commercial, outdoor living spaces. And try to have fun with this and in keeping with your own unique online personality. 
portfolio on your website is important, but I want to go back to the word compelling. If I were to ask you about the importance of your portfolio, the most common answer has been to show my work. Well, I get that, but let's consider the purpose of a compelling website. Is a website the place to show all of your projects? I think not. Why? Because the stats this presentation starts with, the fact that most people won't take the time to look at all of your work. The time a potential client stays on your website is precious and the real estate on your website is valuable. Showing all of your work on your website is not only unnecessary, it's potentially dangerous. If the images aren't all equally awesome, the last bad image you show on the, on the last is the last bad impression you make. Don't dilute your impact by showing mediocre images of moderate or poor quality. People don't spend that much time looking through an extensive portfolio anyway. The purpose of your website is marketing, attracting new clients, creating excitement around hiring you to design and manage a new kitchen or a bathroom build. Use your website portfolio as a way to position your, yourself in the market. Don't show work you want to do, you don't want to do more of. Less quality images all have a purpose and a place, just not on your website as a marketing tool. You'll have an opportunity to show all of these images when sitting with your new client once your website did its job. Some of you don't have a lot of projects yet, but show what you have and choose best. As you grow, consider your photography as part of your marketing budget. They are the most important investment you can make for your business. The business of interior design is, after all, visual. One of the first things a website or any marketing piece needs to do is to get people to pause and take a closer look, attract attention. Studies prove the human brain is hardwired to notice different. It's called the lizard brain. It's instinctual and it's part of our survival DNA. An unusual angle and open door a tight shot or even a night scene will catch the attention of even the most casual web surfer. It's been my experience that most websites fall short of being captivating, immersive, or even in providing more than a descriptive outline of what they do. When what is needed is a persuasive and powerfully compelling reason to be chosen out of a crowd of similar services. Please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there aren't amazing websites out there. But based on recent marketing trends and advice, many of these beautiful websites fall short of connecting with their most desirable clients. Think of your website as an extension of yourself. Provide direction in the layout of your website and use images that lead the viewer through your pages. Using images just above the line lets, reader, lets readers know there's something more on the page because images take them there and headlines invite them to read. If your website has no direction or too many directions, this leads to doubt. The combination of images and good headlines make your page scannable, and trust me, everyone is scanning websites these days. But how do you create a uniqueness that's so dramatic and powerful that clients not only stay on your page, but remember you bookmark you and sign up to hear from you and even choose to work with you. You show them. The idea is to share how a room feels, not just looks. An intimate image brings attention to the small stories, your exquisite details. Have fun with this style. Think of these as snippets of information, as visual content. For example, there's no mistake in the purpose of this image on the left. The lighting fixture was an integral part of this gentleman's club. These storytelling images override the need of a written explanation, or they can be used to support the written content. Carefully composed images are as much of a design challenge as the placement of the designer's final touches. It's about leading lines, balance, and depth. Notice your eye movement in this image and how the placement of the chair directs the viewer back into the frame stopping at the table centerpiece and down to the table base. This image reads like a sentence. Compelling. The dictionary uses words like convincing, credible, and valid. This is where most websites stop. Why? Because we're taught that's what's important. Our credentials, education, publications, achievements, 
All of these things that prove our worth have been highly valued in the past before inbound marketing proved more effective. If your website starts with how long you've been in business, your publications, awards, and achievements, guess what? You're relying on comparison selling. It makes no sense to try to outgun your competitors when studies show people make buying decisions not on credentials alone, especially in the field of interior design. You may be interested to know about a study done by researchers from the University of Texas at Austin. Suspect those rational reasonings have may have little to do with your potential client's decisions. Research study shows comparative features are important, but mostly as justification after a buyer makes a decision based on emotional response. The fundamental question is whether consumers make their choices based on logical comparisons of performance, or are they just emotional creatures who gravitate to products that appeal to their senses, feelings, or moods? Choosing who to work with is like buying an art piece. When you see it, you just know you love it. Because when someone loves what you're showing, there's a good chance they're very, they're very close to being your next perfect client. Once someone has fallen in love with your work, the rational brain comes into play. People ask about budget. They want assurance. Things like your reputation, history, and the, and the story behind the business. These are exactly why your credentials and testimonies Testimonials are important, but no one buys on credentials alone. HubSpot is the world's leading inbound marketing and sales perform and, and sales performance with 31,000 plus customers in more than 90 countries. Inbound marketing is an invitation, a hello, an emphatic embrace. It's a message with meaning. It's about relationship and trust. It's a growing market, it's a growing marketing movement, and it's everywhere. Images evoke an immediate reaction, an emotion, and it's always personal. This is why it's so perfect for inbound marketing. The outdoor experience is what will be triggered in this image, causing a desire to create a dream space of their own. Tell me and I'll forget, but show me and I'll remember. Memory is directly related to images. A combination of wide angle overviews mixed with interesting and unique vignettes provide a way to tell stories. And by doing so, you are distinguishing your design service to a specific segment of potential clients. Share visually what you want to highlight about your work. It not only creates visual interest, but also makes what you do come alive and personal. This specialized image is a soft suggestion, which is easily just as powerful when it comes to having an impact. And notice how this image surrounds you and provides the viewer with an immersive experience. When a designer takes care to create these small vignettes, they should be photographed and used as part of a compelling website or portfolio. Images like this show how special your design service is. Leading lines and a low angle is what makes this an interesting image, perfect for attracting attention. This could be used to start a blog post about how to create drama. A wide overview is important because it tells the story of how all the elements come together. They're exciting and rewarding because they represent the work and show the beauty as seen when first walked into the space. And have you noticed this is where most photography stops? Through the process of elimination and composition, a tighter shot informs the viewer what to pay attention to. These images can speak highly of your work, and they have to, because you can't take people into a past client's private home. And light is what makes an image alive and expressive. Natural sunlight in a kitchen or warm ambient light in a sitting room create a mood that's inviting. This type of soft, earthy lighting makes the viewer want to walk right in. A good live image also includes intimate staging elements like the can 
candles and a glass of wine. A throw, a, a throw tossed aside or a book left open. It should feel like you're entering the room just after someone walked away. An image like this creates intrigue. It provides the same intrigue you designed. The image actually relaxes people as they make the visual, the virtual journey. It's as if they're walking through the space with you. This type of image effectively illustrates your understanding of flow and imparts the message that you can create this experience in a real setting. The emotional bonus of an image like that is that it builds trust because it's believable and it compounds their desire to make a change in their own living environment. When the purpose for your compelling website is to show your best work, your passion and the unique qualities you bring to your clients, then you must decide on only the images that communicate these ideas. Be merciless and judicious about your choices because your images need to be strong and create a dynamic experience. So-so images will make you appear mediocre and rob your portfolio or website of vital impact. Show yourself and what makes you unique. You'll draw clients that get and appreciate your sensibilities. In a sea of design services that offer similar or identical solutions, there has to be something unique about you, something that creates a connection to a potential client. Taking someone from not really wanting to buy into being ready to buy is extremely hard work. Think of a website that actually persuades rather than tries to convince. Share who you are. If you aren't sure what you want to say, don't run the risk of saying the same thing as everyone else. Think about the things you're known for or want to be known for and highlight these accolades and attributes with intimate images. Give people something they can resonate with and make it personal. If you agree the purpose for your compelling website is to show your best work, your passion, and the unique qualities you bring to your clients, then you must decide on only the images that communicate those ideas. When marketing to a specific audience, it helps to know who they are, but know who you are first. So you are free to be yourself and naturally attract those that are most resonant with you. By making it personal, it becomes universal. Share who you are, show your best work, and remember the marketing impact you want to make is not about selling, it's about relationships.